So if you find yourself in a bit of a legal pickle and you're now wondering how to get out of prison, you might want to think about writing a glowing book about President Trump or writing an op-ed in which you call Robert Mueller a few bad names. In the past 24 hours, President Trump has issued two more presidential pardons to two more obvious political allies. One, former media mogul Conrad Black, who served 42 months in federal prison for defrauding his own company and its shareholders of $60 million, but who also wrote this book entitled Donald J. Trump, A President Like No Other. The other pardon recipient, Patrick Nolan, a former California state legislator who served time for corruption and who last year slammed the Mueller probe, saying investigators, quote, decide who they're going to prosecute and then hunt for a crime. Just the latest examples of President Trump passing out get out of jail free cards to those who say nice things about him, such as Trump supporter and former Sheriff Joe Arpaio, convicted of contempt of court in a case related to racial profiling, or conservative pundit Dinesh D'Souza, who pleaded guilty to illegal campaign donations, but once compared Trump to Abraham Lincoln. According to the Conservative Heritage Foundation, a purpose of pardon power is to, quote, temper justice with mercy in appropriate cases and to do justice if new or mitigating evidence comes to bear on a person who may have been wrongfully convicted. Another purpose, according to the Heritage Foundation, is to ensure peace and tranquility in the land. Now, that would not seem to be how the pardon power is being exercised here. Now, of course, yes, past presidents have also issued some extremely questionable pardons. President George H.W. Bush pardoning six Reagan administration officials, including Defense Secretary Caspar Weinberger related to the Iran-Contra scandal. Or President Bill Clinton pardoning his half-brother Roger and fugitive financier Mark Rich, who was married to a big-time Clinton fundraiser. Those were pardons issued with a certain sense of shame, however, during the final days, if not final hours of the Bush and Clinton administrations. But with this president, there is no apparent sense of shame and no blowback from his fellow Republicans. Now, perhaps President Trump is just laying bare the privilege that previous presidents have occasionally, arguably abused for political reasons. Or perhaps that sense of shame that Bush and Clinton felt was at least important. And now it's gone, like so many other standards.